What's up everyone? It's me, Zeke, and I'd like to welcome you to Paragon. Paragon is a MOBA, and in MOBAs, there's a lot to learn, so we wanted to give you a top 8 list of things to remember when playing. First up, push your lane. In Paragon, to win, you have to take out the enemy core. To do so, your team will have to clear one or more lanes of its towers. There are three lanes, left, right, and middle, each with enemy towers and waves of minions. Players start at their own base and should pick a lane, working to clear it by killing minions and taking out the enemy towers. You can move between lanes, but if you leave your lane for long, the enemy has a chance to destroy your towers. Second, towers are important and powerful. The enemy towers need to be destroyed, and your towers need to be protected. Towers are really powerful and can kill you quickly, so let your minions attack first. If you attack an enemy beneath their tower, their tower will attack you. So be very careful not to hit enemies while in their tower range. Use your own towers wisely when you need protection from enemy heroes. Which brings us to our next point, let your minions do the work. Early in the game, stay behind your minions and let them take the brunt of the attacks. This is especially true when attacking enemy towers, which generally target the minions before targeting you. When clearing out enemy minions in your lane, focus on last hitting the enemy minions to level up faster and earn more points to buy cards. Fourth. Always upgrade. At the start of each game, all players are relatively weak. As you play the match and kill enemy minions, heroes, and towers, you'll gain experience to start leveling up your abilities and equipping new cards. Look for the indicator on the HUD to let you know which abilities you can level up at any given time. Fifth, know your range. Paragon is a MOBA, not a shooter, and your weapons have limited range. An easy way to tell whether or not an enemy is within range is your reticle. If your reticle turns red, it means you're in range to hit them with your basic attack. If your reticle is not red, then your basic attacks are not hitting a target. Sixth, stay alive. It's okay to run away. If you're outnumbered or really low on health, get out of there. You don't want to take a fight that you can't win. When in doubt, disengage. As the game progresses, respawn times will get longer and longer. So dying just feeds the enemy a lot of experience, making them more and more powerful. Getting a kill isn't always worth it if there's a good chance you might die. Always keep an eye on your minimap to be aware of enemy movement. Seventh, speed up with travel mode. If you're looking to get somewhere quickly, use travel mode. You'll see a blue aura appear around your character, and after a few seconds, your camera will push in. While in travel mode, you'll move much faster, but it's not for use in combat. Taking damage will cause you to be rooted in place and could leave you in a bad spot so be super careful when using travel mode. And finally, get the right cards. Equipping cards is the key to your success and can only be done at the base. At the start of the game, always equip a health and mana potion. They're incredibly useful. They each come with charges that automatically refill themselves whenever you go back to base. During the game, equip more cards every time you go back to base. And don't forget to upgrade your cards. And that's a top eight things to remember in Paragon. There's a lot to see, and different heroes to play, so don't forget to explore. The key to victory in Paragon is teamwork, so coordinating with your team is the best way for success. Check out our YouTube page for videos detailing other gameplay aspects, as well as cool gameplay videos. Good luck, have fun, and welcome to Paragon.